it has contributed to my success and my happiness and my joy every single day. And it has changed the trajectory of my life. Hey everyone and welcome back to me and Miss Soul Ballard's six week Rock My Dreams Now video series. We are so ecstatic to have you here on my channel and also be going over to her channel and checking out the videos. If it is your first time here, this video series is about how to practically and spiritually work to achieve your goals. I'm going to be giving you the practical side of things and Soul is going to be covering the spiritual side of things. I'm going to be talking about things such as budget and time and money and planning and she's going to be talking about meditations and mantras and how to find clarity and be an energetic match for what you want your dreams and your dream life to look like. So if it's your first time here, go back to our first video on my channel. It's the first video in this playlist. If you're on Soul's channel, it's the first video on her playlist as well as we did them together. And we covered the first topics in there. So I personally covered how to find your why and she covered showing you how to know that everything and anything is possible. So if you haven't seen that video, go back now. If you are here with us again, Welcome! We're so happy to have you here and we're so excited that you are taking these steps with us to actually build and live the life of your dreams. In today's video, we are going to be building on top of your why, your selfish why, which was your homework that I gave you last week in the first video series. So we're going to hone in and show you how you can achieve that goal, that why and how it can be actually attainable rather than just a fantasy that's up and spiraling around in your mind. Now that you've discovered your why, your selfish why, we're gonna dial that back a bit into smaller digestible chunks throughout this video series. But first, understand you have to begin where you are. You have all the tools you need and where you are right now is perfectly fine. You have the tools that you need. They're all right in front of you, but your determining factor now is how you choose to use them, how you choose to use them in your daily life. And all you need to know is where you are right now, how that feels, where you want to go, and what that looks like, and figure out how to get there. So we're gonna help you to figure that out in Soul's parallel video to mine for this second part of our um, video series. She is going to be helping you figure out what your why looks like, which is really gonna help you to hone in and use the tool that I'm going to give you today. So make sure to watch her video after you watch mine. I hear from many of my clients, first and foremost, I don't have the time, I don't have the money. Every one of us use that, uses that as an excuse, as a way to stay comfortable. And I know it doesn't seem that way, but you have the, all the tools you need, remember that. So think of time and money as a non-factor. And I totally get how you feel. I totally felt the same way. I let that thought of not having enough time and money actually hold me back for years. And that in conjunction with a few other things actually pushed me and propelled me into a very deep depression and I want you to remember like I said in the first video of this series that your thoughts have power you have the power to change those thoughts and that is so important just drill that into your mind if you can first remember you have the power your thoughts have power, but you have power over them, okay? So remember that part. I want you to erase from your mind now that you don't have time or money. Erase that, get rid of it. We used to do this in uh, second grade. We would erase that thought out of our brain. So I want you to do that right now, is to erase the idea that you don't have time or money. Do not let that thought 
define your life. You begin now by choosing your thoughts, the thoughts that you want to define your life, the thoughts that build you up, the thoughts that make you go for your dreams. And now to move this ethereal perspective back down into reality, we must use a practical tool. And the practical tool for your toolbox that I'm giving you today is a budget. And I know that's a scary word. And this isn't a budget about crunching numbers. This is about reorganizing where you spend your time, money, and your emotions. I promise that you have the time and the money. You most definitely have the heart, but we really need to make some budget swaps. We need to reallocate where you're placing your time, money, and emotions because you need to have them work for you rather than work against you. Now, with all of that being said, here is your homework for the week. I want you to get a piece of paper, a journal if you have one, and write down everything you spend money on. If you need to, just use your bank statement from the bank when you swipe your card. Use that as your diary of what you spend money on, whether it's food, whether it's clothes, your Netflix account, your Spotify account, books, your, um, your dog's food, your pet's toys, whatever you spend money on during this week. If it's gas, if it's um, a birthday present for someone, anything. Make sure to keep a journal of that. And like I said, use the bank statement. It might make it a little bit easier. Now, you need to write down everything you spent time doing this month. And this combines time and emotion together. Because you can spend time stressing about an event or a person or a situation or um, you can spend time daydreaming about a person or an event or a situation rather than taking action. So whether it's going to a co-worker's uh, birthday party or going out for a drink or going to the gym or sitting in bed and stressing about your long commute to work, write that down. Write down where you spend your emotion and where you spend your time. And that's really gonna help you to hone in on what your thought processes are like, what you're doing each and every single day. It's really gonna allow you to see your schedule playing out in front of you so that we can begin honing in and reallocating where you spend your time, money, and emotions. For me and my why that I told you guys about in the first video is to spend time with family and friends and to go on adventures with them like I did when I was younger. And when I realized that why, and looked at my schedule and where I'm spending my time, money, and emotions, they were completely opposite. They were not working together at all, and I kept being stuck and perpetuated in this cycle that was not helping me reach my goals. So <clears throat> I began to release wasted time, spending money and emotions on work events, on having multiple jobs, on stressing over my job, on um, stressing over what people thought of me, my words, and my actions. I um, stopped spending money on Netflix shows, on commenting on negative Facebook um, posts, forgot the word, <laughs> on um, crappy to-go foods that were cheat days. And I slowly and consistently was able to replace that wasted time, money, and emotion with things that were actually working for me, things that were helping me to build my why. So I began a workout regime. I do home workouts and I go to the gym twice a week. I began doing meal prepping, my vegan meal prepping videos, which are all over this channel. I began doing those. I began drinking a superfood smoothie every single day that would help to amp me up and it would give my body the nutrients and minerals that it needed and the energy that it needed. I, um, I began reaching out to positive people on social media and made social media work for me rather than putting me down constantly. And that's how actually that's actually how I met Soul and we collaborated and came together to make this video series for you guys. And I began reading entrepreneurial based books. I began um, re start I started a gratitude journal. Like I found so many ways to reallocate my budget and it has 
contributed to my success and my happiness and my joy every single day. And it has changed the trajectory of my life, which is exactly what we're here trying to help you do. So don't forget about your homework. Write down where you spend your money, your time, and your emotions. And start seeing where you can reallocate and do some budget swaps. And that is what I had for you guys today. So don't forget to do that homework. It is so, so important as it's going to build upon our videos for next week. My video is about developing a mindset that's gonna keep you going and keep you reminded of your why and why you made those budget swaps, why you're doing things differently now, why you said no to going to that drink out with friends that you knew wasn't something you wanted to do. It's going to help you develop a mindset mantra that's going to keep you strong and focused. And Soul is going to get really interesting with you guys and teach you how to be an energetic match to that mantra so that you can always be drawing in that why and drawing in that feeling. So with that all being said, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to both my channel and Soul's channel. Her video or her YouTube channel is linked down below. And don't forget to share it on your social media and tag our tag here. Put the hashtag right here. Rock my dreams now all capitals on the now and that way we can see when you've shared and if you share four videos or more on your social media then you'll be entered in to win a prize this video series is coming to you free from the heart and the love from both me and soul so we would love for you to share and subscribe and just give this knowledge to friends and family that you think need it but most importantly Give it to yourself and give yourself the time and dedication you deserve so that you can really align your life and get yourself going to the places that you want to go. So I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to go check out Soul's channel now so that she can really show you how to get clear about where you want to go and how to get there. I'll see you guys next time.